It's another edition of Sober Second Thoughts here on the Fifth Quarter Show on YouTube. My name's Rick Samprin. Thanks for tagging along once again on this fine day. Let's begin with Sober Second Thoughts, and uh, we got to talk about the power of the Boverall. Since Labor Day, when Tiger Cats quarterback Bo Levi Mitchell donned his now famous Boveralls, he and the team have been on an exciting run. Mitchell has completed 75% of his passes. He's averaged 331 passing yards. He's thrown seven TDs and only two interceptions. And against BC, he completed 29 of his last 30 passes. The only incompletion was that drop by James Tuck. For Hamilton to beat Winnipeg, though, this coming Friday, Bo is going to have to be at his best. And consider this. The Ticats' Week 12 loss in Winnipeg was the only start this season in which Bo Levi Mitchell failed to throw for at least 240 yards and did not throw a touchdown. So Bo and the Cats have to get it done this Friday. In BC, it was a game of it was a tale of two halves. It was an absolute tale of two halves. In the second half in overtime last week in BC. Hamilton had six offensive drives and scored on five of those six drives. He had four touchdowns and a field goal. And that is after they went over all eight of their drives in the first half. They had six punts and an interception, and the last drive ended just before halftime. To beat Winnipeg, and remember, this is a Blue Bombers team that just scored 55 points. The Ticats are going to have to put in a full 60-minute effort. Anything short of that, boy, it's going to be tough to beat the Winnipeggers. That is for sure. A lot of fans asking about the path to the playoffs. And as you well know, Hamilton did not get any help in their playoff push last week. All the teams they needed to lose, in fact, won. Saskatchewan won, Toronto won. So the Ticats are going to likely need to win out and get some help to book their ticket to the postseason. So here are the remaining schedules. Ottawa, which is in second place in the East, and still can still finish in last, to be honest, if they lose out and Hamilton wins out. Ottawa has 17 points. They're at Montreal. They're at Toronto. They host the Ticats. Toronto has 16 points. They are at Winnipeg after this week. Uh, they host Ottawa, and then they finish off the season in Edmonton. Hamilton at 12 points versus Winnipeg this Friday. They host Calgary, finish off the season in Ottawa. Saskatchewan, talking about crossover now, 15 points. Saskatchewan's at Edmonton, host BC, and they host Calgary. And the BC Lions at 14 points, they host Calgary, they are in Saskatchewan, and they finish off the season hosting the Montreal Alouettes, who've already clinched a playoff spot and will probably have already clinched the East Division. So, Going to be tough. Going to be tough for the Ticats to get in. But again, stranger things have happened. This has been a, a wild and wacky, strange season. Fingers crossed that the Ticats can somehow, some way, run the table and get help down the stretch drive. Last call to get tickets for this Thursday's Wall of Honor dinner at Michelangelo's. Mike Walker, Bernie Custis going to be celebrated for their legendary careers on and even off the field. Again, it's at Michelangelo's. I'm going to be there. Ticket's $125. It includes a great meal, awesome appetizers, drinks, awesome company. Available online at htcaa.ca. Again, that is htcaa.ca. Picks, props, and predictions coming at you on Thursday. And of course, following this Friday's monumental game, between the Tiger Cats and the Blue Bombers. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock at Tim Hortons Field. Fifth quarter show on YouTube will erupt at about 10 o'clock or so. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Subscribe. Tell your friends. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the season. At last check, we were almost at 800, which is still to this day kind of blows my mind. Uh, again, thanks for subscribing. Click that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Triple P coming on Thursday, and of course, the big game Friday night. We'll see you then.